Hi there, I'm the sports judge. Please do your boy a huge favor and hit the subscribe button. It, it only takes a few seconds. Just hit the subscribe button. I can't emphasize it enough. Man, when are the 49ers going to admit that Trey Lance was a mistake? Will he be the Niners quarterback in the foreseeable future? I don't see it. In all honesty, no, he will not be. That's a big no, by the way. This is his third NFL season, and this man still doesn't look comfortable. He gets rattled. I can see Kyle Shanahan benching him in week two in favor of Brock Purdy, especially with how Shanahan runs a quarterback-friendly system. Anyone can be successful in his system. I feel like anybody can thrive in his system. Thanks in large part to him, a Mr. Irrelevant exceeded expectations and looked like a Mr. Relevant. Quarterback friendly puts less load on the quarterback's shoulders, combined with the tools needed to flourish, such as the dynamic playmakers all over the field. And the, the Niners have a multitude of playmakers. Purdy was unfazed, unrattled, cool, calm, and collect. It almost felt like I was watching a 10-year veteran last season. But after Lance's rough start, it's like watching a JV quarterback who looks terrified and baffled. To me, the 49ers took an unpolished quarterback who needs to develop greater accuracy. They're gambling here. The 49ers are gambling, but I think it's fair to say they lost on this one. It's not too early to say Trey Lance is trash. That was a draft mistake. Lance, and I'm being real by saying this, everyone, is a third string quarterback at best, at best. Niners Empire has seen enough of Trey Lance to know he's not the answer at quarterback. I'm sure there's a few people in the minority, but here's the thing. The Niners don't have big questions to answer at quarterback because they have Purdy, who I think should be the week one starter. He couldn't have forgotten. We, I mean, we couldn't have forgotten that fast how sensational he was in the postseason having a breakout playoff run. Purdy took the Bay Area by storm. Stick with him. Trey Lance is lacking confidence. I don't even know where his head is mentally. I, I, I just don't know. From what I can see, from what I can tell, Trey looks like a guy with very limited experience who hasn't seen any action since breaking his leg. Maybe he's a bit rusty. I don't know what it is. It most likely will be Trey Lance starting the season opener, though. First of all, you're not benching a guy who was selected number three overall. And when you have a coach who has this notion that he can transform any quarterback into a Tom Brady or a Joe Montana, there's zero chance that guy is serving water on the bench. When in reality, he should probably be serving water on the bench, right? Am I right or wrong? The Niners gave away Jimmy G, so they played themselves there. And now they're about to settle for a quarterback who isn't ready, and who may never be ready. I mean, I know that sounds a bit harsh, but sometimes the truth hurts, right? If Trey can't showcase what he's made of playing in a system that's friendly and innovative, then he certainly can't play anywhere else. When the Niners moved up from number 12 to number three in the 2021 NFL draft to select Trey Lance, I was very skeptical along with many others, I'm sure. It was a baffling pick to me, even though there was a sense that the Niners would risk everything. I'm not sure if Trey Lance is skilled and capable enough to lead any offense in the NFL. I just don't think he's fit. I don't think he's equipped. I think, for one, Purdy's emergence cut Lance's opportunity short. The bottom line here, folks, is that they got a terrible situation on their hands with Lance. The bottom line, the Niners 
are in a tough situation. And I'll go out on a limb and say, this could go down as one of the worst trades in the draft in the history of the NFL. See you guys later. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Talk to you guys very soon.